So you probably think I'm going to talk about space or science, but I'm not. Um, two things, I guess. One, I've alluded to it a number of times already, which is the Peace Corps. And I did not serve in the Peace Corps. I knew a lot of Peace Corps volunteers, but I did have a similar experience of really integrating myself into a community in a very, very different part of the world in West Africa. Um, and it absolutely changed my life. And I, the Peace Corps has always been a source of incredible inspiration to me, this concept of, again, in a similar vein, right? Taking yourself out of the comforts of your environment and making sacrifices for somebody else, somewhere else in the world. There's a part of the New Frontier speech that I really like, and it's not the part that starts with science and space. It says that the New Frontier is one of uncharted territories of science and space, but then it goes on, and it no mentions a number of other things, and it ends with unexplored po uh, questions, I think it is, of poverty and surplus. And that's actually, I'm a, I'm a scientist by, clearly by birth, and so the reason that I do this work is partly because I love science. But it's actually that issue of questions of poverty and surplus. And w how, where you live and where you are born can dictate so much of what you have. And this idea, you know, and the, the questions of how do you deal with the surplus where you have it and how do you get it to the places where the poverty exists. And that's what Seeding Labs is fundamentally about for me. That's the work that I do. And that phrase in the New Frontier speech, more than anything else in there about science and space, it's great. But questions, unanswered questions, poverty and surplus. That's, to me, the most compelling three words that President Kennedy ever wrote. 